It is now 517. 27-year-old Brian Glavaviches of Wright City has been hospitalized with COVID since November. As his condition worsened, he was transferred to three different hospitals in order to get the care that he needed. Well, now he's at Barnes waiting for a double lung transplant to save his life. It's been really hard. 65-year-old Pat Chrismer Glabovichis tries to hold it together. If it wasn't for my youngest son and my best friend, I'd probably be in a million pieces. Her son Brian has been on life support machines since early November. He spent most of that time at SLU. His heart stopped at one point and doctors resuscitated him. He got so sick so fast. He's since been kept alive by an ECMO machine and ventilator. His lungs destroyed by COVID. He was transferred to Barnes, the only hospital in the St. Louis area that does lung transplants. It's been a difficult three and a half months of ups and downs and a lot of tears and some joys. Brian has been called a miracle with the progress he's made. In December, he sat up. A month later, he was standing and then he was walking. The first time he stood up and the first time he walked, I cried. The whole team cheered for him. And the whole team is still cheering for him. Now that he can talk, his mom says he regrets not getting vaccinated. It shouldn't have happened. I used to preach it to him all the time and he'd get mad at me. Mom, I'm as healthy as a horse. I can beat this. Brian has since received his first shot of the vaccine and will get his second dose on the 21st. It's required for him to get the lung transplant. And he doesn't want to be dependent on me or anybody else. Pat is by her son's side for six hours a day, five days a week. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> As she anxiously waits for the call that there are lungs available to save her son's life, she wants others to know. This could happen to anybody. BJC requires multiple vaccinations before transplants to ensure the best chance of survival. There is a bill in Missouri hoping to change that. It would allow unvaccinated patients to receive organ transplants, and it's currently making its way through the House.